In this tutorial I'm going to explain how you can import your own drawings into Ball presets. I have made some example drawings in Google Drawings, but you can make them in Photoshop, Illustrator or whatever program you prefer. All you have to do is download them as a PNG. So we'll do that for each one. Once you've downloaded these as PNGs, we'll need a way to access them or store them. A simple way to do this is by uploading them to a Discord channel, like so. Uh, and then once you've uploaded them, you can click open in browser. And this will give you a link here and we'll use this later in the preset. Important to note is that you should not delete these, otherwise your uh, links will no longer work. Okay, so now we have the designs ready. Uh, the only thing we need now is the design template. This you can find in design help and it will be pinned to the channel as well. Uh, so click download. Okay, now that we have the template, you can import this into ball. Go to an empty preset. Go to import, choose a file. Then search for the file you just downloaded. There we go. And this uploads the preset. Now that we have the preset, you can give this a name. Call this demo. I'll start by showing you how to import the header image. So we go back to the link I mentioned earlier that you can find in the, in the Discord channel or whatever way you stored it. We open it as browser source and then we paste it here where it says placeholder and then you can see it shows the image already but we might need to do some uh, scaling to get it exactly right so then you play around with uh, these two fields here so you need to set the height right it needs to be a little smaller make it a little longer and then perfect see now it fits perfectly to the top um, then we need to reposition uh, the other parts of this to where exactly we want them. So we'll start with the top text uh, example text. Uh, we'll make this a little smaller font size. And we'll move this a little further from the top so it fits perfectly between the score boxes. Next in a row is a time box. Uh, this is roughly in the right position. Let's make the font a little smaller. There we go. And then the game box. This is a little too high. So we uh, adjust this to be uh, right there. Maybe a little smaller actually. There we go. Uh, next we'll put the names. We'll make the font size a little bigger. We'll move them a little bit more up, same for the right name, then we'll move them a little bit further from the left, actually it's too much, 70, there we go, and we'll do the same on the other side, there we go, then we'll put the logos, they were a little bit too far out, uh, 40, 45, we'll probably make them a little smaller as well, it's a little big now, and a bit more to the right, there we go, perfect, and we can do the same on the other side, simply paste this here, there we go, that's perfect, and then we move on to the game score, uh, this needs to move a bit more to the center, so we put five, a little bit more, a bit less, there we go, perfect, and a bit further up, there we go, and then we apply the same to the other side, there we go, perfect, and then we move to series score, 
this roughly fine. Just need to go down a little bit. It's too much. There we go. Uh, same for the other side. Uh, we'll make this shape a little bigger as well. Uh, and then move it down one more pixel. There we go. And maybe make the empty boxes black instead of uh, white. There's some other options that you can change here as well. For example, the color of the colored box and some more advanced stuff. But for now, we'll focus on the background designs. Uh, then we'll go to team box. Same thing here. You'll see two placeholders. You open the images we uploaded earlier and then you can just paste those links in here like so and then the only thing we need to do now is make sure that they're actually the size we want so that's by ad again adjusting the two things below uh, see it's uh, First look at how big the, the background is and then you can adjust then we'll adjust the other stuff. This is perfect. Now we do the same on the other side. There we go. And now we can move on uh, to the other fields. Uh, we'll move them a little bit from the top. There we go. If you do this you need to make sure that you disable the event notifications that are in the top right of the game but there's more information on that in the, the design help channel also pinned. Uh, we move it a little bit more from the left to create some distance. These are all really small adjustments. Uh, so now we did the position of them and now we'll edit the inside of the box. Uh, for that you will start with the player name uh, we'll move it a little bit further from the top, like 10. Uh, let's move the names a little bit closer, that's maybe too close to the edges. There we go. Then we'll adjust the boost number to be the same distance as the name. Uh, also 10 from the top. Can probably get away with a little bit bigger font size. There we go. Uh, we can make the wrap around a little bit uh, bigger. Let's see, we'll make sure that check just fits. There we go. Uh, I'll remove the boldness of the font because it looks a little bit too big. Uh, then we'll go to the boost bar. We'll make this uh, way bigger. Uh, maybe a bit longer as well. Then uh, we'll move the uh, meter a little bit more. I think if we remove this it will be in the center. Yeah, there we go. So that's in the center and I will just move it from the top. That's this one. Four. That should be fine actually. Uh, actually, let's adjust the uh, color while we're at it to make it be a bit darker. Uh, so right now you see here the dodge are blue. You can replace this with... Uh, actually that's a bad idea because it's not really visible. Let's just change it to white just for uh, example. There we go. That's really visible. Uh, then we'll move on to the player card. Same thing here. Open the image as before with the URL thing. Place in the placeholder. There we go. We see that it's uh, a little bit too short and the names are a little bit too far in the center, so we'll have to adjust this to be a little bit bigger. We'll uh, leave that on. There we go. Maybe a little bit smaller to make it fit. That's too short. There we go. Uh, we can also adjust the position of it. So let's move it a little bit further up. 
and a bit further from the bottom left there we go then we'll make the name portion a little bit smaller uh, maybe move the whole uh, row a little bit uh, down by adding some padding top here this is a little bit more advanced but it's basically to center uh, the whole row to be more in the middle of your design because I didn't draw the design perfectly in the middle earlier uh, and there you go you can probably also add some padding to the right to make sure that the saves doesn't really hit the edge there we go this is more centered now um, yeah so there you go this was quick way to add your custom designs into Barl. Uh, now that you have this you can download it you can also change the font click on this and I will show you all the possible fonts and then you can download it and send it to everyone who wants to use your design